Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Uh, if you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe if you enjoy my readings. So we're going to take a look at the week ahead for you, Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, keep in mind, um, some of the messages may or may not resonate. So don't try to force it to fit. It's predictive. Also keep in mind that this is a channel for entertainment purposes only. And yeah, let's get started. So you're starting with the world. So there is a big shift and a change happening this week for you. Um, some of you starting a new book or you have a new chapter in your life that you're beginning, leaving something. There's a goal or a lesson that has been learned and um, you're completing something. That, so finishing something this week and starting something new. Okay, which is great. Some of you might be planning to travel and um, or you're relocating as well. Some of you might be learning the drums or picking up the sticks again <laughs> too. So there's maybe you're twirling some batons this week. There's definitely an energy of a new beginning, leaving out with the old in with the new. It's almost like a new year starting here for you. Okay, so you also have the magician. Okay, some of you are going to... Uh, maybe you were a drummer in a band and now you're going to be the lead singer <laughs> or you're getting into some type of performance as well you're going to get up on a stage this week there's an opportunity for that um, there's also um, some type of creative idea that you might have this week that I feel like you're going to begin implementing you're really focused on some type of goal this week um, feeling inspired and turning something that you might have been thinking about like um, an idea or something maybe some type of freelance work or some kind of an idea that you've had or that you've just been kind of floating around that's been floating around in your head and your mind and I feel like you're starting putting these things like kind of like laying all your tools out in front of you on the table this week and saying getting you know it's like, you know, when you're learning to cook a new meal, you know, you know what you want. So now you're going and getting all the ingredients and you're kind of just, I see you laying everything out on the table now. This is what I need. These are the tools I need. This is everything I need to accomplish and to get started on this. So you're really um, laying everything out this week for yourself. You also have the Knight of Swords. So this is really like, you're making a huge change. Um, there is an energy here, like it's either a lifestyle change, being very assertive, going after what you want this week. Um, and I, I really just feel like you're ready to begin something new here in your life. And this week feels like nothing's going to stop you. Ain't no mountain high enough, Virgo. Virgo's like, I am on it this week. We've got Gemini energy showing up here. We also have... Um, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio. So you might have that somewhere in your chart. Yeah, I definitely feel like you're, you're walking away from something, finished something and starting something new and going for it, going after it, whatever it might be. This is the week you're doing it, taking action. All right, let's see what else is going. It could be a lot of communication also with other people. Phone's going to be ringing off the hook. Um, such an old saying, phone ringing off the hook. I mean, there's no hooks anymore for phones. It's so funny. Um, definitely don't put your phone on. You might actually, I'm hearing, you might actually need to put your phone on silent or vibrate because I feel like <clears throat> you're going to be getting a lot of calls back. You're going to be getting a lot of text messages, a lot of emails, a lot of alert notifications coming in this week in response to <clears throat> your reaching out. You need a lot of callbacks this week. All right, let's see. What else do you have? Okay, so you've got temperance. All right. Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So it looks like there's some type of peaceful uh, coming back together reunion with someone who um, where a love offer is being made. This feels like a real strong, um, things are calm. I feel like there's a calming energy. Um, 
there's peace, there's harmony for sure. Um, there's no arguing. Everything is, I'm just feeling a real strong, peaceful energy with um, maybe some sisters, uh, some friends as well, a support group around you. There's a lot of love in the air this week as well. And it feels like um, there is some type of reuniting reunited and it feels so good so it could be romantic as well you might be um spending some time in some type of social activity this week as well where um you know out having drinks place where there's bartenders as well or um eating out somewhere and there's love love is in the air so i definitely feel like you will be connecting with someone this week or love is knocking on your door. You're going to get a romantic offer this week. Could be from a Sagittarius. Um, could be from a Cancer. And could be from a Pisces. Okay. So I, I definitely feel like love is on the table this week. You'll either get asked out <clears throat> or someone in your social circle. Um, is going to um, you know express their love to you could be a friend you might have a friend whom fesses up how they feel about you as well and there's also an element of um, reuniting with someone that you had a relationship with before where there's this element of like coming in peace um, a joyful celebratory type of reunion between the two of you where love gets expressed and both of you or at least one person comes in with a romantic offer it's either you know kind of like expressing how they feel about you or making some kind of proposal whether that's to get into a romantic relationship or further a relationship uh, or a friendship to become more that kind of energy so it's it's beautiful with temperance because temperance is like it, it, i don't know, I, I feel like this is like divinely guided so this feels to me like it's something that has you you've been patient you've been patiently waiting for love to come into your life from either from someone specific or just in general and i feel like spirit is bringing that to you this week like this week it's coming okay um for some of you okay this energy started i'm hearing on september 14th they're just saying now when was september 14th wasn't that like just last week i think it was yeah, September 14th was on Thursday, last Thursday. So, yeah, there was it's definitely some some energy. <laughs> uh, this has been kind of like working behind the scenes. Um, so you may have received some kind of, of cl a clue, or, <laughs> like a little clue. <laughs> you may have received like some kind of little, like they're giving me sleepless in Seattle vibes right now. What? <laughs> You have had some type of sign or some kind of inclination or feeling something or some kind of in intuitive thing about um, this beginning, this happening, like you could feel it. You might have felt it over the weekend, like feeling a strong presence of someone, um, like your other half there with you, but not but but energetically not really there but yeah there's definitely a shift and a change okay as far as love goes so yep that's definitely coming in this week so keep your eyes peeled there okay so you've also got the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy let's see And you've got the King of Pentacles. Oh, wow. Um, okay. So you are also receiving an opportunity from two separate people. Now this might be a job offer, okay? Or, um, hmm. This is, you know what, Virgo? <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm going to, so uh, 
as it stands with the Ace of Pentacles. So basically, it's either a new job offer or a raise, promotion, um, investment, or new income. But these are coming from <clears throat> a water sign and an earth sign. Let's take a look. King Cups has the Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh. Now you've got the King of Wands with the King of Pentacles and the Emperor. Holy, holy moly, what is going on? Now they're, okay. So I feel like it, there's a bunch of people this week who are, who are going to be coming forward. It's, it's not just these two kings. It's also a king of wands and an emperor. Could be a father and three brothers. Um, it could be um, just three, three people your age and someone who's older. It could be a boss or people that you work with. So, all right, some of you are going to get bailed out of jail. I'll tell you that, or, <laughs> or or be given money to bail someone out of prison. <laughs> okay, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I just thought that was a very quirky message. What is going on here? Okay, oh my goodness. All right, so listen, you're definitely, all right, I'm telling you, you're going to be, it doesn't matter how many people it is, but you're definitely going to be receiving some type of gift so if you've got a birthday, hey, happy birthday today. Some type of gift or um, some kind of op new opportunity that's going to give you some kind of financial abundance or push you forward. Could be a loan as well. But I'm feeling like... I'm just going to give this message. There is a king of cups here that is feeling quite lost and struggling they're like kind of this uh they're self-imposed prisoner kind of energy um hold on a second these mess this message is kind of screwy there is um there's a king of cups. All right, let's. So they're saying there's a king of cups who's feeling quite restricted and doesn't know what to do. So the king of cups is Cancer Scorpio Pisces, is feeling restricted, doesn't know what to do right now. Um, about some type of offers that you're receiving from other people. And it feels like money. It feels like money or gifts. <clears throat> this King of Cups, it looks like there's an energy of feeling like they were, or they feel like they were ghosted or um, they couldn't commit to something. And I don't know if it's love or if it's to do with a job. Or if it has to do with some type of contract or a commitment of some sort, <clears throat> or the um, you're definitely receiving some offer here, okay? But somebody here in this group is is really. Uh, let's get another clarifying card here. I, I I feel like okay, it might have something to do with a marriage or a job, or um. Some type of committed relationship or some type of contract or um yeah this king cups is not happy about something that you're receiving this week some opportunity that you're receiving from some other people this week okay so maybe you're gonna sell your house or you're, you're gonna sell something and somebody else is not too happy about it or you get an offer on something or receive a gift for something and this uh, there's another person here who's just not they're grieving they feel lost about this thing 
um, they're like kind of, but they're with this, with, oh gosh, with the eight of swords, it's kind of like they're, but they're doing this to themselves. Like they're keep, like they're, they're kind of keeping themselves like stuck, right? That's what the eight of swords is. It's someone who plays kind of like they isolate, they self imprison, they, they restrict themselves, you know, for whatever their mental reason is to kind of do that damsel in distress kind of thing. Like, oh, poor me kind of thing. So instead of getting jealous or angry, they kind of go internal, they turn it inside, and then they're like, oh, I don't deserve it anyway, or yeah, they're going to go and, and get all this great stuff, and I'm just like, oh, woe is me. It's kind of that energy. I don't know why, who, like, what you need to know about that, but I do feel like that energy is playing out this week. Um, tell Virgo a little bit more about this as well. Yeah, because this thing, this offer, this gift, whatever you're receiving is 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 taking you away. It's giving you an opportunity to move on is what I feel. And they're like really I don't know, they're grieving with the five of cups. They're not happy about it. Even if you're not going anywhere because they're not showing me what you're going to do. You might just have somebody else showing up here in your life that's just giving you, um, treating you with, you know, treating you like gold and somebody else kind of like feeling bad that they can't do that. That's the message I'm getting. I don't know what that's all about, but there's a grief here. There's a feeling of sadness, like maybe some regret as well. That's the five of cups, right? Yeah, that maybe you're connecting or you're meeting somebody new or you've got other better offers, something that they can't or feel like they're not capable of giving you. Okay, so that's a really interesting message there. Let me just get a couple of romance angels to see what that's a little more clarity about that. Okay, letting your friends help you. Okay, could be coming some from some friends. Um, there might be some friends that are trying to help you through a situation, helping you kind of break out of something or giving you what you need to move on from something and another person you're leaving behind or you're just not dealing with going forward is remorseful about that. The, so heart to heart conversation is here. This person, it fell in reverse. I feel like this person really wants to talk to you, but they can't bring themselves to have like open up and have that conversation. It almost feels like, rather than stand up and kind of be like, no, don't go. Um, they don't have, the, it's, they're giving me like courage, a cowardly dog. Like this person does not have the courage to stand up and, you know, say what's on their mind or, or say, don't go. Um, yeah, something. It doesn't mean they won't later, but it just feels like this week, um, they're not fighting. Okay. Yeah, they think maybe you've, they think maybe you're already, you've already got something better. You've got a better offer. So even if this is in relation to like your career, your job, you get a better job offer, or you have other offers coming in and whoever you were working for before, whether that was like a person or an institution, it's almost like they're not going to try to stop you from leaving. Okay. And, and you can replace it, whether it's a job or family or romantic or friendship or, you know, person, place or thing. It looks like, you know, even as far as like somebody feeling sorry for themselves that you received a better gift than they got you. And they're like, like, really? What the hell? They're just not, I don't see this person being happy for you. I, I, I see that they're they're ter internalizing it and and feeling sorry for themselves rather than being happy for you and you having an opportunity to be happier in another position or with in another place in your life or with other people which is kind of I don't know it's a bit selfish I feel like it's a bit selfish a little bit here um yeah, so you have, this could be the one. So this might be uh, something that you have been waiting for, a, not a new opportunity. Okay. Yeah, so this person has made the effort in reverse. So I don't feel like whoever you're walking away from, person, place, or thing, they're really not going to try to stop you this week. They're just going to, they're just, I don't know what's going on with them. Let's see if they're going to make any change. 
Let's just take a look going forward if there's going to be any change. Oh, wow. The lovers. Yeah. So that is like, I'm not going to go too deep into that, but I do feel like, yeah, I feel like this week, this is just a week for whoever this person is. They're going to let you go and just sulk. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. Just sulk and just be like, oh, I'll just let them go and, you know, whatever. But going forward with the lovers, this is a decision card. So, yeah, are they going to make some changes here? Yeah, I feel like they're just going to go have their little poop party and um, hang some little poop balloons and make themselves a poop cake and just, you know, have some have some shit cake for themselves and just feel and snap out of it and then yeah there's the knight of wands and they're gonna come get you <laughs> okay so it's whatever all right that's whatever right let's see what else you got here virgo what other messages does virgo oh ghosted or blocked oh that just flipped right out so virgo looks like uh i don't know are you ghosting or blocking someone this week moving forward looks like that might be happening or you might be ghosted or blocked by someone this week. Okay, but otherwise, it looks like you're going to go and try to stay in a positive light anyway. You might be ghosting or blocking someone so that you can get back into like positive energy for yourself. Some of you might be thinking about doing that. Someone might have done that to you and you're like, oh, what a relief. Now I can get out in the sun and just go play and enjoy my life. Okay, so definitely an energy of that happening Ooh, also got a committed love relationship coming in this week as well so i feel like we were saying that <clears throat> in the beginning right the end i don't know the end feels like more like something specific but they're really it's hard to it, they're not pinpointing whether it's romantic or whether it's a job situation leaving a leaving a company um going to another place or um, family members or friends you know um but whatever that situation is you can just apply it but i do see definitely some kind of love offer coming in this week for you yeah <laughs> and then you will have the past returning holy shit you got a lot going on virgo i don't even know <laughs> like i mean seriously you've got the past returning you do you do, you do, you do. Let me see. So, like, let me just say, um, I mean, all of this energy, like, if this, if this is a past person who's letting you walk away down here at the bottom, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, asking spirit, you know, is there going to be a change next week? I mean, the change could happen Friday. So, that it could be that, that, you know, person finally says, you know what, I'm done. I'm, I've am I've eaten all my shit cake now. I need to not let Virgo get away. They were a hell of a, hell of a worker. Great employee. We're losing something huge here. You know, or if it's an ex, that kind of energy, or if it's a family member or friend, sometimes distance does give people pause. You know, even... And it happens to everybody. It's not exclusive to certain people. Even people who leave other people after a period of pause do tend to get insight, you know, um, as much as people who are left. You know, sometimes everybody, that's why they always say when you're in the middle of a fight, the best thing to do is walk away. Yeah, everybody's got to cool down and just try to like pause, just take a pause, let the dust settle. So they can get clarity and insight and try to sort things out. And sometimes the clarity comes where it's like, no, I made the right decision. Move it. Keep it moving. And other times the clarity comes and it's like, well, maybe I was too rash about something or, you know, maybe I need maybe I need to take a look at that thing again. And maybe it's, it needs to be better managed or it's a situation that needs to be fixed, you know. So. Yeah. All right, you're definitely getting a sweet text message this week. Some of you might be on a birthday. Okay, so if you have a, um, a birthday this week on the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, the 20th, 21st, 22nd, um, maybe the 23rd, definitely going to receive a sweet text message from someone this week. Happy could be a happy birthday message. It could be an apology for some of you. Um, there's also 
could be coming from someone that's hitting rock bottom as well. So that might resonate for you in some way. Someone who's just like, that's it, I'm done. Um, there's no other way to go now but up to try to make some kind of situation better. Okay. Um, I just want to get a couple more messages and then I'm going to shorten this. I've decided that it's best for me to do the much longer readings Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Um, so I want you guys to know that Sundays and Thursdays, I'm going to have these readings to be a bit shorter, right? That way Sunday, everyone who listens Sunday evening can get to sleep early if they can get up for work on Monday. But yeah, I'm going to try to keep Sunday and Thursday much shorter and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday a bit longer. Okay, we've got co co coffee cup meeting and conversing. By the way, thank you to everyone who's been purchasing coffees for me. I greatly appreciate it. Meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship this week. So definitely connecting with a person or some people this week over coffee or meeting the one Virgo. Totally awesome. You've got kisses as well. Unconditional love, growing, no, giving and receiving affection, falling in love this week. Beautiful. And you've got love again and more unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. Some of you are going to be having a coffee cup date with someone and there's going to be little loving, hugging, squeezing. Wasn't that a song? Wasn't, who sang that? Loving, touching, squeezing. Was that Journey? That's an oldie. Oh my gosh, just came right out of the blue. Oh yeah, that's an oldie. So, all right, you guys. So just wait for your week to play out. If you tell me that as soon, if you're listening to this before the end of the week and you tell me it's not resonating, then that won't make any sense because it's predictive. So come back at the end of the week. And if it hasn't happened, then you can say, nope, didn't happen. And that's fine. Next week, there'll be another one. All right, so if you want to get a personal reading with me, there's a link in the description box below the video. You can click that link. I am running a special until the end of September, so definitely go check that out. And um, yeah, I'm going to leave that here for now, and I will see you all back here on Monday. All right, take care. Bye.